let's see some previous year questions from activated sludge process so this one says a completely mixed activated sludge process is used to treat a wastewater of wastewater flow of 1 mld having a bod5 of 200 milligrams per liter so rate of i mean wastewater flow is given as 1 mld and bod5 is given as 200 milligrams per liter the biomass concentration in the aeration tank is 2000 milligrams per liter that is your mlss mlss that is given as 2000 milligrams per liter and the concentration of net biomass leaving the system per day is 50 milligrams per liter so you can say xw that is the concentration of biomass leaving the system is 50 milligrams per liter the aeration tank volume as I mean the aeration tank volume is 200 meter cube the first thing we have to find out is what is the hydraulic retention time of wastewater in the aeration tank so hydraulic retention time is simply given as V by Q both are given directly so we don't have to do anything just divide the two 200 by the discharge is 1 MLD so 10 to power 6 liters per day this is in meter cube so we'll have to convert so if you multiply 10 to power minus 3 this will be meter cube per day and from here we'll get the HRTS 0.2 days now let's see the option so 0.2 hours is given in options but it is in days and 4.8 I mean all are given in hours but we are finding here it in days so first let's convert it in hours so 0 0.2 into 24 hours that is your 4.8 days so this is the answer here so straightforward this was the next one says what is the average time for which biomass stays in the system so this is what it is asking here is your sludge age or mean cell residence time so how it is defined it is defined as total biomass present in the system divided by net biomass leaving the system leaving the system per day or whatever the unit of time here is so that's how it is defined so we have to find out these two things total biomass present in the system let's find this first total biomass present so that we can find out as the volume of filter sorry volume of aeration tank of aeration tank multiplied by the MLSS concentration in aeration tank that will give us the total biomass present so volume of the aeration tank is 200 meter cube and MLSS concentration is 2000 milligrams per liter so let's convert this also in liters let's multiply it by 1000 liters into 2000 milligrams per liter so this will cancel out and if we convert this into kgs so 10 to power 6 will go that is 400 kgs that is the total biomass present now we have to find out the net biomass leaving the system per day leaving the system so for that what is given let's see one thing is given is the biomass concentration that is leaving the system is 50 milligrams per liter but we have not been given and what is the flow rate at which the sewage is leaving the system nothing about this flow rate is given so you'll have to assume that whatever the flow is coming in this tank it is simply going away because nothing about this other other discharge is given so only this this is the only possible way in which we can find the value of the total biomass leaving the system so simply we have to multiply x w and q so that is Q is 1 million per 1 million liters per day so that is 10 to power 6 liters per day multiplied by 50 milligrams per liter 
so this also we can convert in kg per day that is 50 kg per day and then we can find out the what is being asked what is the average time for which the biomass stays in the system so the, this formula we have to use that is theta c is equal to 400 divided by 50 this is kg this is kg per day so answer will come in days that is 8 days so let's see the options so here both 8 hours and 8 days are, are given so you have to be sure about that just the point of I mean just unit you have to be careful about otherwise question is just straightforward so 8 days is your answer for this one let's see the next one now so it says an activated sludge system is operating at equilibrium with the following information wastewater related data flow rate is 500 meter cube per hour so that is q is equal to 500 meter cube per hour influent bod y i is equal to 150 milligrams per liter effluent bod y naught is 10 milligrams per liter apart from that aeration tank related data is given so hrt that is hydraulic retention time is given as 8 hours ncrt mean cell residence time or sludge age is 240 hours and volume of aeration tank is 4000 meter cube and the mlss concentration that is x is equal to 2000 milligrams per liter this is that data given to you so it asks for the food to biomass f by m ratio in kilogram bod per kilogram biomass per day this should be the unit for this f by m ratio so what is the food here food is just i mean it is also given here is that in kilogram bod so that is incoming bod that is multi multiply these to flow into the bod that will give us the food concentration that is 500 it is in meter cube so convert it in liters so liters per hour multiplied by 150 milligrams per liter we can and we have to convert it in kgs also so multiplied with 10 to the power minus 6 here 10 to the power minus 6 so 3 will go and these 3 will go that is 75 kgs per hour but this is here in hours so this also it is asking in per day so better to convert it in days so for that 75 into 24 kilograms per day it would be so this is your food and biomass in system so for that how to find that out simply multiply the the volume of aeration tank and the MLSS concentration so that is 4000 into 10 to the power 3 liters into 2000 milligrams per liter so if you want to convert it in kgs so multiply by 10 to the power minus 6 that is 8000 kgs so both the things are known in the proper units also so just we have to divide so f by m ratio is 75 into 24 kgs per day per 8000 kg so from here if you solve this the answer would be 0.225 so c is your answer so again this is also straightforward just you have to be sure about the units next one says the mass in kilograms per day of solids wasted from the system is so we have to find out what is the mass that is being wasted so again we are coming back to theta c sludge age that is that we have already seen how to find that out vx that gives us the total mass present in the system and divided by qw into whatever is the rate of I mean wasting so this multiplication we have to find out in this case so simply we can write it as let's say 
t we have to find out this is t so vx by theta c this will give you the proper value v into x we had calculated here also that is 8000 kg 8000 kg and mean cell residence time theta c is given as 240 hours that is 240 hours so here again once check that what is the unit in which we have to find out we have to find out in kilograms per day so multiply this by 24 to convert it in hours so this is 10 so sorry to convert it in days so this is 10 days and so the concentration would be i mean the the, the mass would be 800 kilograms per day so this we had to find out so this is your answer for this one let's see the next one it says the mls concentration in an aeration tank is 5000 milligrams per liter x is given as 5000 milligrams per liter if one liter of sample is allowed to settle for 30 minutes it shows the settled volume as 250 ml so vs we can write is 250 ml the sludge volume index is so svi we have to find out so simply formula we have to apply that is vs into 1000 divided by x so just be sure about the units that we have i mean that in which it should be so i think units are also fine for this one so 250 into 1000 divided by 5000 and so the unit in which this answer will come is ml per grams that is the standard unit of svi so that is the answer would be this will cancel out and 50 ml per grams so svi is 50 so this is your answer for this one so these are the questions i found relevant to this topic if you want me to cover more questions please let me know thank you